14. Robert Ross was from Ross Trevor. He was born in County Down. His family was given land there by the British crown. He was a man born of the gentry, born with wealth and fame. But he joined the British army to serve his queen and make his name. In the Napoleonic Wars, he fought in many lands, in Holland and in Spain and the far off Egyptian sands. He was wounded there in battle, came back to fight another day, and he was sent off to attack the USA. York had been sacked and burned by invading Yankee men, but the Canadians regrouped, chased the Yankees home, and then the British Navy made its way to the shores of D.C. town, where General Ross burned the White House down. The year was 1814, the U.S. was in retreat, it was a Canadian victory, an American defeat. Without the French to help them, they got their ass whipped by the crown when General Ross burned the White House down. The place had just been constructed only 12 years before, but it had to be rebuilt soon after this disastrous war. The president turned tail and ran like a raggedy clown when General Ross burned the White House down. He was killed a few months later. Irish rebels stopped him in his tracks. He was buried in Nova Scotia, in the town of Halifax. He might have been forgotten, but he'll forever be renowned. He's the man who burned the White House down. He's the man who burned the White House down.